Hey guys, I'm Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Now, uh, we did a few things in the interim. Uh, we brought up a fuel tanker and left it in this location here because in fact it will probably be doing a lot of uh, things with the drilling site over here. And uh, generally this area is like so far away from any kind of refueling option. I thought it wise just to leave um, a tanker here. Uh, today we're gonna be picking up where we kind of left off last time. We're gonna be taking this uh, trailer with two consumables, food from the farm. And we are going to be doing hungry workers. Let's also activate it in the tasks here. Hungry workers, there we go, start tracking. And we are going to try to feed those poor souls. Now, the route I'm going to be taking is a pretty horrible one, honestly. I'm kind of hoping we wouldn't, we won't need any extra help. Um, but we will see. Uh, we've been having a decent amount of luck lately. Well, last episode I realized, I guess, uh, with not flipping uh, or rolling our trucks. So uh, let's hope that luck uh, carries on to this episode because it will need it. This doesn't really look friendly at all. That being said, we're fully fueled up for once, and let's go, see how this goes. And uh, yeah, we are doing this with our Paystar, still. Uh, we didn't change anything from the last time we uh, played with it is with the standard uh, crane and side bit configuration and I'm hoping that will actually be enough I may have wanted to uh, drop things from it like uh, you know the crane just for the sake of uh, weight but given that rolling is an actual problem nowadays I thought maybe not also are we stuck actually is a throwback all the way to the first episodes when we used to get stuck like five minutes into actually leaving the garage right well apparently we are stuck uh, do we have any good options yeah we have a perfect option here with this tree let's stick down to low differential lock on and let's do this again I think it's hurting us that we still don't have the raised suspension on this this is with the stock suspension still so, uh, mind that. I am kind of thinking maybe I want to take a trip to Alaska. Maybe cheat a bit and see where the upgrade for race suspension is. I don't think it takes anything away from uh, the achievement of actually getting that spot and actually taking the thing. But uh, we'll see. By the way, let's be careful here. I don't want to tip over. Skim that as best as we can. And yeah, there we go. That works. So, what's this area ahead of us? Okay, doesn't look too bad. I don't see. Oh, wow, that's a lot of water. Whew, okay, let's hope it's not terribly deep. I mean, this still only has the air filter, so we can't exactly go too deep into uh, fording. Oh, is that an is that an upgrade? No, it's not. It's just a just a car. Uh, usually, if, you, if there's an upgrade, you it's uh, printed on the roof of the salvage wreck, which is cute. But in this case, that's not our situation. Also, let me stop talking and actually pay attention to what I'm doing here because I don't want to tip over. We have no trees here, actually. Hmm. Okay, let's give it this a run, a run. If nothing else, we have a tree on the right here, so we can retreat. This gets uh, very, very bad. Hopefully not. 
but hope doesn't really save me, does it? Okay, well, we are advancing, that's always a good sign. And we do have that stump on the right side, I'm gonna try and keep close to it. that to grapple ourselves but so far so well as expected to be honest we are wiggling our wheels a bit trying to find better footing well wheeling I guess Let's uh, stop for a second. Let's uh, get out the winch and let's see if we can winch ourselves. Actually, man, yeah, that, that winch upgrade was fantastic to be honest. Uh, the medium extended winch. We actually need to go on the left side here. We don't really need to go through that section there. So that's something to keep in mind. Oh, this is an upgrade, isn't it? I mean, you can see the thing printed on the... On the car itself. But did I already take this upgrade? I don't see any yellow markings on it. I might have. Okay, let's. Uh, I would stop, but uh, this terrible, terrible mud probably would kill me if I ever stop. Uh, but yeah, I think we. I think we took this already. Okay, let's get ourselves out of this. break off. Let's try not to get that car under our wheels. I don't want to bother with going around it. We also need to take care of the trailer, so for we'll have to actually go straight and maybe up up on this. Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, no, that's, that's not gonna work. Whew. Okay, let's switch back. I can't help that uh, trailer if I'm... Uh... Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just go over it. Nah, you don't want to, you don't want to. Uh, the wheel here is stuck on that car, which was my problem initially. Let's try to cheese it a bit. I had a better pulling spot, but I don't really. Something you know here more at the front. Okay, so let's. Uh, what should we do here? Let's try and. Oh, that sounds bad. Yeah, that sounds bad because that's what how it sounds when uh, you're going against your handbrake. Easy there. this again hmm, this isn't working out is it let's actually use the reverse because we just realized that we can if we use the reverse uh, gear we can actually use differential lock with it okay let's switch over to the low gear again differential lock Let's try going around this tree as much as we can. 
Mm, actually, you know what? You know what? Let's uh, see if we can push this over just a bit forward. But I don't think so. I think this is the hill we die on. Let's uh, try and be smart. We do have the anchor, the um, the crane. Let's anchor up. Let's use the crane, and let's see. Maybe we can do something smart here. Can we? I'm pretty sure this is something we cannot interact with. Oh, by the way, man, am I ever? Let's try and re-anchor again. Maybe it gets a better footing. Okay, as predicted, that doesn't. But. expecting I mean for sure we did this before right we messed it up at some point and we had the option to winch this but apparently that's not a thing oh well uh, fine let's, let's restore the crane nothing that will help us let's actually go all the way back This is indeed very, very mucky. Okay, the actual problem now is that we need the straighter to be more uh, in line with us. So let's do this. Let's switch to low gear. We'll need to make, make some room for it. Drop that winch. Sorry, drop that winch. Come on. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Just ever so slightly. It's inching away. Oh, wow. Are we? Yeah, no, actually, we're fine. Let's see if we can wiggle it. Yes, there we go. That was it. That was exactly what we were looking for. Perfect. Now, we need to go there. Uh, yeah, I think we can risk going through this muck here. Should be fine. Okay, let's do a Spider-Man winch. not tip over. Tipping over would be entirely bad, as we have uh, previously experienced. Just take it easy. Is that getting stuck in anything? I don't think so. Okay. So, it's totally okay for it. And I have just realized that I could have entirely, fully just put that in this truck. Oh, God. <laughs> I was, you know, so concerned with it. Uh, getting that uh, fuel trailer out there, I just didn't think that I can uh, put the uh, the consumables directly into the truck, so I won't have to bother with the trailer. Uh, oh well, c'est la vie. That was indeed a mistake, but it was a, my mistake to make. Let's be careful here, because I don't like how this is tilted. Let's get some grounding. More on the left side. There we go. Any horrible pebbles under us? I don't, I don't think so. But we're having some problem with traction. Wow, even on the mm, on the low range. Low. Let's try spider manning to. Okay. Do we have any better anchor points? Uh, not really. No. If we move up just a bit more up. 
we can reach that white tree and that's exactly what we need. Let's hand break this and see if that was enough. I don't think so. But I don't think we're going to be needing it anyway. Release. And come on. Come on. And this is exactly the kind of situation where I think the, the fleet star would have done better. I mean, I'm not sure if the fleet start have gotten through that mud earlier, but pulling this uphill is definitely a fleet star job. Too bad we cannot have two trucks in one. Well, I guess not yet. Some of the higher level trucks can probably do this in their sleep, but we do not have a higher level truck, do we? Okay, let's take this easy. Let's not have any problems here. Let's switch over to auto, because I don't think we really need a differential or anything else. But... Actually, no. Let's do this. Saving a bit of fuel and keeping with a low enough speed that any mistakes can be course corrected quickly enough. Get that little pebble between the wheels, not under the wheels. Mm. Let's try to avoid that little Pump. Easy, 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 easy. Okay. I'm saying let's try to avoid that little hump because we don't want to end up tilted off kilter. Okay, let's still push with some more wheel drive. Um, where are we going? Left or right? Technically, right. Not sure if it's smart to just try and go th over this. Mm, I mean, the road doesn't look too good later on anyway. I'd rather... As I say it, I'm thinking, hey, this is a bad idea. Hey, don't do this. Why are you doing this? You know this is a bad idea. And yet, I'm doing it. But actually, this seems relatively fine. Relatively fine. Just auto, full speed it, and go, go, go. Let's not give it any chance to mess with us. And we are at the drilling site. Yeah, let's uh, stick to auto. Get through this. And deliver the food to the hungry, hungry hippos. Well, drillers. Miners. Miners? Miners, I guess. And stop. Cargo management. There we go. That was close. Dyson Diesel almost had a mutiny on their hands. Great work. Cool, that was 240 XP and 2400 credits. Uh, how are we with XP? Uh, level 9, still, and there's almost nothing at level 10 that I saw. Most of the stuff is level 12 or something. Uh, so we don't really care about that yet. So, what's across the river? Uh, so, we need a trailer delivered. It's the middle of the river. Why? Well, I can't tell you. Are you in or not? Wow. Uh, actually, we have enough fuel to do this if we really want to, so uh, uh, let's, let's give it a shot. Uh, we, st well, we have enough fuel. Uh, let's leave this here. Actually, let's drag it out the way a bit. Oh, 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 oh. Let's not have any issues here. It'd be relatively silly to... Be just uh, the truck in their camp. Okay. Let's uh, detach the trailer. <laughs> That's probably 6,000 credits I'll never see ever again, but oh well. Uh, and let's... Oh, that's a big trailer. Shouldn't be a huge deal. Let's get ourselves hitched up. Let's 
special task. Accept. Attached trailer. Ooh. So, uh, how are we gonna do this? Uh, quest across the river, start tracking. Well, I guess this is the route you're supposed to be taking. So, let's do this. That seems kosher. Hmm, doesn't seem to be that heavy of a truck. Take that back, it is. I'm kinda hoping we won't run around the fuel in the middle of it, but Okay, let's head straight up of this. Come on. Easy does it. I kind of expected it to be a much steeper uh, drop, but it's not. Oh, actually we have some uh, some stone here, so as long as we keep on the stone, we're gonna be fine. Uh, let's switch to a low gear differential lock for sure. Wow, this is insane. Absolutely insane. Okay, uh, if we're sticking to this side, we should be fine. I can see some rocks under the water here, so let's try and stick to them. I'm not sure how straight they are, but. Also, I can totally feel the water pushing me aside. Wow. Okay, let's try and stick to the outer edge then. Wow, okay. okay. Just stick to the other edge here. And everything will be fine. Wow, holy crap. Ooh. <laughs> wow, that, this was... So fun. Because you could just barely see the stones under the water, right? It was insane. I love it. I love it. And we did it. I knew you could do it. I had the bet on with the husky guys. And they were sure you wouldn't make it. I just scored a big win for this. Here's your share of the profit. Well, I'm glad somebody made some money on my uh, hard-earned fun. Um, you know what? We don't have that much fuel left, and we haven't explored at all this section here. So, um, you know what? Let's see if we can <laughs> ford this river, although I'm extremely skeptical. Yeah, it's fine if we can, so I'll just uh, recover it. <laughs> wow. Nice going. We just forded a uh, very high flow river and with the trailer and uh, I rammed it straight into that uh, hole there. Okay, let's give this a shot. Let's see how deep this is. Low gear, differential lock, take it easy. Okay, it's 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 that deep. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, okay, I got it. I got it. Game. I'm not supposed to be going through here. I I, I got it. I understand that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's recover this. That was fun. Uh, anyway.
Mm, so, uh, can we still have some uh, time on the clock here? What are we gonna be doing? Because we, st uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you know what we can do. Just uh, for, for the sake of uh, some logistics here, let's let's clean up our base. I probably remember we got that semi truck, uh, semi trailer a while back. We left it here, and then uh, I went off and sold it. I don't know if I showed you guys that. And more or less, we got left with these um, bricks and what the hell is that? Supplies or something? I don't know. Whatever. They're at the beginning. At the start of my base, I don't like them. Let's uh, let's clean that up. Probably as much as this will go. But I guess it shouldn't really matter because I can just go pack cargo. There we go. And uh, V, crane mode, room, uh, raise. that too far? Yeah, I think that's too far. Okay, doesn't matter. Uh, restore crane. I think I should be able to pack this on the trailer without... Um... Without taking the trailer off. Try cheesing this. I know for sure that I can cheese this. So I can raise this very, very high. Okay, is this very high? This is very high. And then I can extend it. Okay. Uh, and now let's see if that works. Uh, run back. Back. There we go. Perfect. Let's uh, restore the crane. Let's pack that in somewhere around here. Just uh, leave it somewhere. Perfection. Actually, let's put it a bit out of the way. There we go. Okay, almost like looks like someone's professionally parked this. Detach trailer and recover. Oh well, uh, I think that was it for today, guys. Um, next time, uh, I'm not exactly sure what uh, we'll be doing. I kind of want to do unlucky fisherman because uh, it, it's a fun recovery job. We'll have to get this Chevrolet CK1500 out of the river. And I'm kind of thinking it would be cool 
to do it with the big crane, which I think the big crane can totally uh, raise this, totally, just so we don't do any kind of ridiculous uh, winching. I mean, there's no real road that takes it here, so it'd be nice if we could just uh, crane it up here or something. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Either way, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, do the usual YouTube stuff, like, subscribe. Uh, I'm gonna be putting up updates uh, daily on uh, SnowRunner, and they'll all be delivered with the same calm and content voice that you're hearing right now. Either way, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.